Now the next part, now that I've primed the cube, is to reconstitute it in a layer by layer method. And I'm going to do that by making use of it and treating it kind of like the mercury cube. If you remember with the mercury cube, we had only one that was bandaged and the rest were non-bandaged. So if I use this as the top layer and only and orient it where I'm only using the non-bandaged side, I'm basically treating it exactly like a mercury cube. And by doing that, I'm not going to mess these guys up. I'm only going to mess potentially this outer corner up, which is easy to put in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put all of my blue corners in place, but I'm only going to move this motion here and this motion here. If I do that, I'm not going to mess anything up the way I wouldn't if it was a super cube. So here's a blue, orange, blue, orange, and yellow. So this has to go by that side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this until I get it in between the orange and yellow, which is right here. Here's orange, here's yellow, and I'm just going to do motions that swings this in using this move here. So really I'm just swinging it in like so. So there it is. Now let me get another blue one in place. Here's blue, red, and orange. So with blue, red, and orange I'm going to find I'm sorry, uh, red and yellow. So here's yellow and red. I'm going to swing this in. So. And there it is. Now notice as I'm doing this, I'm not touching these middles. I'm just hitting this outer one, which is going to be easy to put in. I automatically swung this in position, so I've got the white and orange. So I'm going to take it to the white and orange sides, where it's right in the middle here, and just continue to follow suit. Wrong one. Oh. Okay. Here it is here actually. And move this around. Okay, put that in. And now I only have one left, the red and white right over here and just move that in. Okay, so I basically made my first layer. I'll just turn that to the proper middle and there it is. Now take a look at what I did or didn't do here. I don't have to do much to reconstitute my second layer because I didn't touch that as I was just moving this. The only thing that got blasted out was this outer edge. Once I have this here, now it's easy to completely reconstitute, reconstitute the middle layer. Find the red and the yellow. It's right over here. Now because of that, we know that these are fixed. I don't have to worry about these. So all I have to do is I have to roll this into here. But I'm not going to use the same algorithm because it's going to mess up what I did here. Rather, I'm going to go retro and go the, the original algorithm to put this into here that we did with the 3x3, that we did with the Rubik's Cube. And when we do that, again, we're not going to mess anything else up. So that's going to be our... This is our old algorithm to put it in, and there it is. So now we've reconstituted our second layer. Doing our last layer, it's the same concept. Make sure that we're we have a non-bandage to the right and non-bandage in front of us and we do exactly the same thing. So what I'm going to do is bring this L configuration over here and now uh, and we'll just put it back into position. So F R U R I U I F I we have the line. Now we got to be careful because we could actually use middle swapping techniques if we need to, but we don't want to run into a trap, which is what we run the risk of doing here. If I put this in line again, doing that same algorithm, this will come here and it'll be solved. This will come here and bump this out, which is okay. This will come here and bump that out, and this will still be, you know, unsolved, which is exactly what we want, because then we can easily rotate these in and we won't run into any parities. So. And notice all these middles are still fine. So let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and do that. F R U R I U I 
Fi, and as predicted, this is fine. These are all bumped out, or not solved rather. So what we want to do is rotate these around to, to come where they need to be. Can't do it on my um, non-banded side. Move it to the banded side, which coincidentally enough is the right side, and then do our algorithm to rotate these guys around. And do it again. And it's as simple as that. These are all solved. The joy of the circle cube. Now the next part is moving these guys in, and I've got good news. We don't have to worry or even care about what's bandaged or what's bandaged, or what's not bandaged. We've moved beyond that because the algorithm to rotate these in doesn't affect these at all. So let's find one that's in place. Uh, we don't find any, so we'll just pick one randomly. And notice that algorithm did not offset this. If you need me to post it, I, I can, but it's probably something you're very familiar with. This is in place. This is not, so do it again. Doesn't matter where you do it from, doesn't matter what perspective. In place, in place. These two are not, so we'll just wheel these in by the usual mechanism. Oops. Okay, and we have our outer shell.